I want to go back. So it's 2019, so she died four years ago. She was the second murder in Rockford. There was a lady named Rachel that got stabbed by her boyfriend. That it's just a little story time on how I found out what happened to her. December 31st, you know, it's New Year's, everybody wants to go party, woo woo woo. Jazz was a party person, like, it's jazz, it's just, that's what jazz do. So, fast forward, that night, no, it was the day, it was January 1st, that was my last time ever seeing her. This is a duplex, that's what a duplex is. So we lived right next to each other. And I was and like, hey, what you gonna do? Or whatever. I put my window up and I got to talk to him. And she was like, nothing, you know, it's a um, a New Year's house party tomorrow. You should come. I'm like, nah, you know, I'm not into that. But um, I was like, well, you know, you can come spend the night in my house afterwards. She was like, okay, cool. And then that was that. So that night she had... Um, the last time that I seen her, she had some red box braids. Little red box braids. She had those in. Because she always did her Jazz was, she always did her she always, she always did her hair. And, yeah. That's, that's, that's the only thing that I know by heart. That was my last time I ever seen her face. But I was like, um, you should just come spend at my house afterwards. She's like, okay, cool, we can do that. And then, that was that. She went in her house. And then, that night, I just went back to sleep. So remind you, I think it was like, it had to be like 8, 9 o'clock. It wasn't late, but it was late. So like, I don't know. She went, she must have, when she was coming back, she must have was um, going to get dressed. So God was like, I won't say he was giving me a sign, but he let me see her for one last time before he take her home. So that morning, you know, well, no. Like, it was so much stuff going on. She did get, remind you, where she got shot at, it's, it's like, it's literally two minutes from the police station. So, like, where she got shot at, and then where the police station was at, it was, like, they could have got there as quick as possible. And then, remind you, where she did get shot at, it's a building. It's, I don't know what, what the building for, but she, she died in front of a building, like, you know where it's the, it's the grass and then it's the parking lot. She did, The start of the parking lot began. That's where she died at. And there's a camera looking directly, you know, directly at where she took her last breath. Guess what? The camera did not work. So, like, till this day, we have no evidence. We have no suspects. And it's just a cold murder case for a 15 year old. So, like, people, it'd be rumors that. East Side Boys did it, but like we don't, we don't have a suspect. We don't, we don't have none. We we couldn't even get a license plate number. All the all they know, all they think they know is the color of the car. That's it. That's all. So like that's still hard because she was with a group of people, and also it was either her cousin or one of her friends had got shot in the leg. He to this day, we don't know who that was. Who out the band? We just it's just a cold case. Like it's crazy because she was on her. She was walking home from the party, and then I guess they said a van rolled down and got to shooting. And Jazz was with, with her close friend, her name Amari. They was walking home from the party, and they, she was saying when she um. When they got to hearing gunshots, she was holding her hand. She, her and Jazz was running. They was holding each other's hand. And then, for some reason, she said that Jazz's hand slipped. And she turned around and Jazz was already on the floor bleeding out. So, like, I don't know. It's kind of hard because she got a younger sister that was just like her. Like.
laugh like her. It's just, and I still be getting her sister till this day. To like, you know, like, since her sister died, I don't want her to feel like, oh, you know, I won't be arriving. So, like, I go get her sister here and there. January 2nd of 2015. That morning, my mom was at work. She's working in a nursing home at the time. And she called me. She was like, uh, she was like, you all right? And I was like, yeah, why? She was like, no, I'm just checking on you. I'm like, oh, okay. And she went back to work. I felt like she knew what was wrong. But... She didn't want to tell me over the phone, but she said, and um, that morning I wake up and how, I remind you, me and Jazz live right next door to each other. So the street just packed with cars. It's like, it's cars parked on the grass, cars parked on the opposite street. It's, it's cars parked in almost all the, it's just cars everywhere. Like our street never been that crowded before. And then remind you, it's early in the morning. So what is all these cars doing here? So. My cousin, Corey, his mom, my auntie Sharice, she came over. My uncle Jericho was downstairs because I went downstairs and I was like, I was like, you look outside, you see all these cars, it's, it's crowded outside, what's going on? And he was like, um, he was like, I think that's, I think that was Jazz that had got shot last night. And I was like, what are you talking about? I just seen her, she was going to a party. I, was, I literally, I literally just talked to her though. He said, um, he said, I'm, I'm going to check. He said, I'm going to check. You just go back upstairs. So I went back upstairs, and then I went back in the room, and I was looking through the windows because there was so many cars on our street. Like, how her mom had came in, my auntie Sharice. And she was like, is you okay? And I'm like, why are you questioning me? Am I okay? I'm trying to find out why all these cars outside. And she was like, she was like, just come here. Just give me a hug. And I'm like, is everything all right? What's going on? But she didn't want to tell me either. They wanted, everybody wanted my mom to tell me. So everybody just keep questioning me, but I don't even know what's going on. So my mom come on. And my mom was like, um, you okay? Woo, woo, woo. She got to hug me. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Just can somebody have chance to tell me what's going on? And she was like, yeah, I think that was Jazz. They got killed last night. My reaction was I pushed her. Y'all, I pushed her. I ran upstairs. Because, like, that didn't make no sense. I just, we just had a conversation not that long ago. So I was like, um, she was like, right. so I went upstairs, and she was like, well, she came up there after me, she was like, she got to hug me and stuff, and then she was like, um, uh, she was like, you need to go over there and talk to her mom. That was hot. Tayana and they lived right across the street, too. We was all just, it was just always the four of us, me, Tayana, and Nate, and Jazz. Always the four of us. No more people, no extra people, we all just afford. Because we lived on that street, we lived on that block, we seen each other from day to dawn, to day to dawn, all the way over there. And, okay, so the front of Jazz's house is, is, you know, the front of everybody's house is going to be their living room. But that door remains locked, that door was never, that door never opened, it never did, because it's, it's called a white room inside the house, everything was white. And, like, you couldn't, you couldn't enter the house like that, you had to enter the house from the back, which was the kitchen. So we went through the kitchen, and then we went into the living room, which was so, well, like, everybody was in shock. So everybody went into the white room that day. And we all sitting, and then her mom was sitting by the living room door, the front door. And she was sitting in a chair, and she had a stitcher cord. Her mom was sitting at the chair, her mom was sitting in the chair and at the front door, and she was like, what is essential for her? And she was like, wait till she walked through this door, I'll beat her. And then she just kept repeating her. She's like, wait till she walked through this door, I'm beating her ass. She said, I swear I'm beating her ass. She said, Mooney, no, I do not play like that. And then I was like, um, I'm like, okay. She just, she just didn't come back home. You know, she didn't get shot. So I, I stopped thinking about the picture that I saw. And I stopped thinking about what my mom said. I stopped thinking about what my said. I just focused on what her mom said. So I'm like, oh, okay. She just didn't come home. So she said, oh. So I'm thinking of another. And then that's when they was like, it was like she gone. And I was like, like, oh, and that's the and when in 2015, um Ebola was going around at the time. And I had stayed out of school for like two weeks because of the the stuff that I was getting. And this is what I used 
I don't know why I still got this, y'all. I'm a hoarder. But this is what I used, and this was the last thing that I had got from Jazz. So I keep this as a reminder to her. And never got rid of it because this is the uh, remembrance of Jazz. I know it's weird because it's calamine lotion, but like I said, I was sick, and this is the last thing that she had ever had. Her dad just passed away like a year a year before she did. So like they're buried right next to each other. There's no way around that. I had took this. I had another shirt. This it says no time for haters. And well back then in 2015, everybody wanted something that had hitter on it. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm right. Like one of the I love you haters, I hate haters, I delete haters, all that. Anything hated on it, that was that was the trending topic of that year. So she got this No Time for Haters shirt, and then she had a purple shirt. It was I delete haters, and it was a delete button for the word. Still in middle school at the time, so I was in the eighth grade when Jazz passed away. Remind you, I just graduated this year. Like, like let that see that hurts so bad, y'all. She was supposed to graduate last year. So this is a picture of her on Christmas, and then Cece was in this picture too. Cece was a close friend of ours too. She was in this picture, and this was taken at Ellis Elementary School because we stayed up there. Like Ellis was our park. Like we stayed up there, the whole block stayed up there. So yeah, this was a story time of how I lost a close cousin. Like still to this day, it hurts. Not knowing nobody know nothing. I'm gonna stop this cause I don't wanna be crying no more. And I don't want to be sad because I know that I'm like, yeah, like that still hurts. But this, this was a story time for her. And yeah, y'all look, you can tell I was crying, y'all. But I'm not trying to, though. So, make sure you guys like this video. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. And we out.